ancient land has suffered 30 long years under Akadola's brutal leadership. The opposition party, progressives, intellectuals, and anyone who dared oppose him, all eventually yielded to his iron will. Everyone assumed that there would be no end to Akadola's rule, however, as his oppression grew stronger and as countless demonstrations were violently quelled, the enthusiasm for a Scarian revolution deepened. Until one day, when an uprising exploded like wildfire. The revolutionaries have made their camp in eastern Scaria, the country's poorest region. Inspired by the revolutionaries, commoners, long oppressed, have taken up arms against Akadola. While they are disorganized, lack supplies, and are fighting with farm tools, kitchen knives, and relics of previous wars, they are convicted in their hopes for a better future. Okay. Despite countless setbacks, the revolutionaries have secured a front line. Akadola commands his army from his palace. A shining jewel situated deep in the wealthy western province. Thousands of his troops, supporters, and mercenaries recruited from allied nations around the world stand guard in his palace. They are well equipped and well trained. With these advantages, Akadola commands an endless onslaught against the revolutionaries. Perpetual war ravages Scaria, with no end in sight for this power struggle. Yet, on this day, an airplane makes its way through the skies of Scaria. Its destination? The revolutionaries' eastern encampment. Okay. Navigating no-fly zones is a difficult task, and the pilot was forced to land along the western border, deep within the Scarian army's territory. A young college student stepped off the plane, full of determination to help overthrow Akadola's regime. She, however, never expected to find herself in such a dilemma. No one could have ever imagined that the fate of Scaria and countless lives would rest upon this young woman's shoulders. Ooh, we. That's us. I'm assuming that's us. We're that young woman. Hello, anyone and everyone. Welcome to Edrol Plays Home Behind 2. And that was kind of a long intro, right? What was that, like two minutes? But uh, hello, Home Behind 2, welcome to Demo Days. Uh, did I say let's play? Anyways, it's not It's not Edrol Plays, it's uh, Demo Days. We gotta get that right. Anyways, uh, Home Behind 2 is a roguelike RPG which takes place in Scaria, as you clearly get from the cinematic. A country engulfed in civil war for ten years. Let a patchwork lead a patchwork uh, group of revolutionary fighters into the depths of the government's territory as you struggle to overthrow a brutal authorian regime. Regime, sorry. Uh, it is developed and published by TPP Studios. It's coming out uh, this month, actually, on the twenty second. Uh, the uh, that's what it claims. Let's hope it's right. Uh, and I don't know how much it's going to cost because it didn't tell me there's no indicator of what it's going to cost. Maybe there might be, and maybe I didn't look that hard. But that's fine. Uh, I like the music. Let's go, girly. That's us. That's sex. Yeah, we do that all the time. Uh, what's our job? So I can... Can I make myself... Oh, dude, I can be... A big lady. Alright, that's me. Uh, commandos are balanced uh, fighters that serve as the backbone of many teams, but their damage are rather remarkable. Sniper, healer, alright, let's just choose a basic commando. Go back to whatever we were doing. Whatever. Oh, yeah, that actually, uh. Okay. Did that change? No, it doesn't. All right. I didn't realize nickname Strong Shield. Well, dude, if her nickname is Strong Shield, we're making her Hulk Lady. You know what I mean? Or Excellent Rock, Addicted Beauty, 
That means he's fine. Ooh, mind. Blue soil. Rebel master. Dignified roaring dune. Sir, sir, yeah. Wordly harrier. Bald fracture. Listless celebrity. Innocent. Cowardly dominator. Courageous hero. Ghostly flying demon. Longbow commander. Destined crystal. Shrewd lava. <laughs> Some of these just have such funny implications because I'm an idiot. Uh, devious hermit. Carnivorous thug. So that makes it not agile. It's for speed, accuracy, crit, damage block. You know, we're just going to make her a tanky lady. I know. Who's Chris? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You just make her really small. Well, no, we're just gonna make our whole king. And we are the shielded, fun, fun, the weak, weak key. Yesterday's guy, evil meteor, imprisoned van. I should have went with evil meteor. Strong eyes, taunting pass, clown, dragon, sacred, famous, dynasty, eagle eyed, ghoulish, water, bind door, axe shattered, antique meteor. My hobbies, oh shit, walking, fitness. Fitness, stealing, wrestling. I am the antique meteor, the greatest wrestler commando. I should have taken some stats away and put into other ones. I realize now. I also realize this is really loud. The music, like I mean, I've kind of been talking. It's turned. It's lower for you. It's definitely lower for you guys. But uh, you know, we're not gonna read about what Scarry has to do. We're gonna watch this in the matter. It's seven minutes and we haven't gotten to the gameplay yet. And we're gonna show the game in 13 minutes. Oh, what just happened there? Oh, what the hell? People are getting pissed. Oh no, are people about to get shot? Mm hmm? Why are you shooting her? Um, game? Okay. Revolutionaries. After 20 years of uh, just clicking through this because we want to get to the gameplay before the 20 minute mark. In a desert along sorry, southwestern border. Yeah, heavy breathing. Wait, wait, I can't run any further. Where are we? My makeshift camp. Apologize for my mess, Miss Pee Pants. Miss Pee Pants? I'm soaked because uh, Akadola's army sprayed me with their water cannons and I, I can't say it was the best welcome I've ever received. You may not have heard about Akadola's new policy, as the Nordo Republic has effectively declared the support for revolutionaries. All passengers from Norto are to be placed under arrest immediately. Damn it, I had no idea the situation in Skyria had deteriorated so quickly. Akadola has managed to prevent any information from escaping Skyria's borders. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to change out of these soaked clothes. If you don't mind, all I, have, all I have here are a few unwashed military pants. I don't mind. I the same as Pants. These pants sure do make you look like a fugitive. I don't like his face. <laughs> Would you put a lid on it? Your office will humor just for a moment. I'm not in the mood. My mother always told me I should have been, uh, been a comedian. Should I still, th uh, still, I should thank you. You saved my life. Save you, thanks. I'm, uh, I'm no philanthropist. Philanthropist? Yeah. I need a translator and a guy that's damn near possible to find decent, uh, Nortonans. It's scary these days. You might be better served hiring a guy from a nearby village. Locals? I wouldn't depend on such uncivilized people for anything. I'm sure they'd be more uh, than happy to return over a citizen from North Shore Republic to Akadula for a few hundred bucks. You're looking at a local. Keep your prejudice to yourself. I went to North Shore Republic as a child for schooling. That explains why your sky is so good. It's just because you're English. Well, even if you're just a local, at least you were a highly educated secretive man. Uh, and on the run, just like me. I suppose we should introduce yourself. Please call me Bannon. Bannon. I can't call you Miss Pee Pants. You knock it off of me and wish you didn't save me. Fine, so uh, why would you choose to return to Skyria at, at a time like this? You know there are far more efficient ways to kill yourself. This guy. To, for Skyria to take down Akadula. He's uh, the true enemy of all Skyrian patriots. I, I began planning to return him as soon as I heard about the revolution is kicking off. I understand, so the uh, revolutionary reserves? You can call it that I'm just passionate, and you, what on earth is a Norton 
And Norton and doing here. Are you just looking for a fight? I'm here for travel. What a perfect destination. You can call me Prince. Prince, uh, which fairy are you from? Fairy tale. This is more like a horror story, don't you think? Isolated, helpless, and alone in the desert with feet supplies, not to mention the army. I'm well aware of our predicament. Where can we go? Our first move should be to locate a means of transportation. There's no way we'll make it across the desert on foot. In fact, I've noticed tire tracks. My guess is they were left by an older truck. Tire tracks, that's unexpectedly professional of you. Where do you learn how to do that trick? Or Boy Scouts? Regardless, we should follow the tire tracks and catch up to the truck before it breaks down. Then all we need is to persuade the owner to lend the, the truck to us. This isn't funny, Prince. I'm a revolutionary, not a bandit. Fine, hopefully whoever is driving the truck is fine with hitchhikers. In any case, catching up to the truck should be our first priority. He may not like my sense of humor, madam, but we're in this together. Let's team up. It doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Why is decision? Come on, time is of the essence. You're fucking telling me. If we miss this chance, we'll end up spending the rest of our lives in this desert. That's a feature I'd like to avoid. We aren't going to be very fair without a way to defend ourselves. You know, whoever is driving the truck is sure to be armed. I plan ahead. See that crate over there? There are two weapons inside of that. Uh, inside of it. That I purchased from a few hungry poachers. I can't say they're much better than a lead pipe, but it's the best I can do in this damn desert. They'll be better than nothing. I learned how to use these types of weapons before. You're just full of surprise, aren't you? Pick your weapon and let's set up. Make sure not to shoot yourself or me. I'm looking forward to this adventure, Miss P. Apologies, Miss Banan. If you say that ridiculous name again, I may accidentally shut your mouth forever, Prince. His name is Chris. Well, we're going to do Beyond 2. Only a limited amount of areas are, are, of, and content are available in this demo. In addition, the game is still under development. It does not reflect the final product. Please note this demo will conclude after you've explored 10 areas or reach a secret Norton base. We'll find a reliable vehicle. We'll need to find a reliable vehicle. We're surviving. Ow. A prince has thankfully been tracking a vehicle. It's not too far. We should catch it quickly. Uh, your teammates are waiting to be dispatched. Click on the fire's average. Review personal skills. Uh, weapon. Warehouse. All your weapons and arms are stored within your warehouse. Alright, anyways. Hey. Alright. Each fighter has five base stats. Your teammates may equip weapons and armors and two trinkets. Each of your teammates has a, may hold different jobs with their own standard and open skill. Alright, cool. So this guy. Should probably get a. Uh, give him the pistol. Mm. Alright, cool. Is that fair? Negative four agility. So that means she's slow, she's not as accurate, and she doesn't crit. No, she's gonna stand and just trade shots with people, that's all that matters. Uh, did it go from here? Start? Continue exploring. Hell oh, yeah, 13 minutes in. <laughs> Let me say one supplies restore four health to, uh, to a teammate while exploring. Alright. What's this? Alright, the tracks. These go. Okay. Okay. Give me like darkest dungeon vibes. Well, I don't dislike what's happening right now though. Let's see the next one. We didn't get ready. We didn't get ready. Uh, color success, uh, intelligence, agility. Okay. Hey. That's dumb because I was trying to fish. Is this? Hey. Can I switch characters? Uh, 
Hey, I need to run luck today. Luck, we should be already doing a lot of trying to be honest. Yeah, yeah. To tell you the truth, I'm curious. I can do all this cruelty as I just really want to go through some gameplay and get to the fighting before the tutorial's over. And I'm really sorry to skip through the dialogue. Ambiguous tracks. Hello? Hmm. The scene's many vehicles have stopped. You see two possible options for the tracks. Follow the only one belonging to the heavy truck that you follow. Which could they be? More shallow, more narrow, deep and wide. The camel f prince? Ha! Ah. Interesting. Shoot army scouts looking at everything. Let's review. A proper shooting stance, it looks like. Watch out. You, you picked the wrong person to fight. I don't know what he said. Let's show us an overview of your enemies. I never turned down the volume. I hope that you guys aren't bothered by this. Let's just show us an overview of your enemies. Right click their avatars to review their individual details. To click, uh, click to begin fighting. Your teammates will begin shooting enemies automatically. Take note. You will be unable to spend supplies you miss it or adjust teammates' position once the battle begins. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Spy, let's go, Fedora boy. Why are we pausing? That's too fast. Hey, what do we do? Right, I paused it. What the hell is that? I have a grenade launcher. Oh, I don't. Do I, I like, uh, do I do anything? Is full. All right, click the ultimate. Easy. Oh my god, he threw a knife. Yo, we we're having an issue. This guy's gonna kill me. I maybe. I think I realized the issue was. Healer. That's all right. Well, I'm dead. We wiped into the tutorial. We took so long, we got here. Oh, there you go. He threw another knife. Shoot your pistol. Shoot, shoot another pistol shot. Just one more. Ba Pow! New rough armor. Hey, Ms. Mate, you're more skilled fighter than I thought you would be. Skilled, I studied at the military college in the Northern Republic for three years. I was ranked top five in my class in light weapons. As you're getting some real skills to turn around the battlefield, you're right. A firefight is a lot more different than practicing range because your target. No, because my target house screams and begs for mercy. Oh my god, this is very upsetting because I goofed. We're almost dead. Teammates have been injured due to various. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I didn't read that injuries. It's not good. How do we fix this? That's fine. Mm -hmm. Can we have a possibly switch weapons? It's fine. Yeah, let's just move a little bit forward. Ready to ask kid by another guy? Uh, the hunter's leather jacket is ripped by a shark. Alright, he seems to be his mind made up the who 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 is at fault. Mm -hmm. uh, buy a weapon. Hell yeah, we're gonna buy that gun. Why? Because we're just trying to explore the game. Cool. Confirm. 
Oh, okay, we have to return to camp before we can mess with them. Okay, that's, that's mom's spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to buy supplies also, but you know, it is what it is. Rabbit break turn, yeah, 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 let's get through the story to show, oh no, what did I click? Nice. They leveled up, we're so good. Mother of God, let's do that. Mm -hmm. The antique meteor's ass is breaking. Figure out. Right. We're on our way. I thought I knew that would just be. I knew I shouldn't click those ones. Oh no! So much time is being wasted. There we go. Realistically, we shouldn't click on every. Every track, and I realize that. Uh, dynamite trap, baby. Oh, how does that feel, lady? Good thing that guy's not noticing anything. What's manual mean? That's my question. All right, we're gonna win one. Oh no, judgment's coming! Uh, enemies defeated, dirty. Cough, cough, are you big? Oh, aren't we pigs? Don't call me a pig. Hey. Hey. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hmm. Please don't call me a pig. Make it cough, cough. In effect, night permanent. Yeah, I will show you to both of you coming to me later. Are you two some sort of husband and wife kick-ass mercenaries? You're here to save me from the flames of death and dishonor? Husband and wife mercenaries got all wrong. We're revolutionaries. Cool. So is he going to be our cool buddy? In fact, Army's been hunting me for months. I've been on the run for months. Damn desert, alright. At least I think Bill is pretty he never leaves anyone alive that can threaten his power. Uh man. I'll probably end the video in a second. And I'm sad by the state of your truck! <laughs> this is a lot of talking right now because you know we normally only have twenty minutes to record, but there's a little bit well. But we need transportation, we need it now. Remember we've been tracked by the enemy as well. Here's the keys, I'll owe you. You saved my life and we have one coming on enemy. I can do it. There's nothing I can do to repair my truck. You may be able to fix it up if you have the right supplies. Check the crate you next to you for a few supplies and oil as much but you can get started. Alright. No, no. Oh, that was close. Where's our list of supplies? Alright, so what does this mean? Like... How we fit? I... I, I, you just have to do it until it's 100%. Alright, so I know this is eating through our supplies, but like, this is also way slower. Oh, do we have this guy? The tribal warrior? Heck yeah. 
We have found a vehicle and rescue his owner, a man named Harun. From the Kasa tribe, an encouraging victory. Perhaps we should uh, return to our camp. I agree. How do I return it? Is he in our loot? Is a human in our loot? I would love to know how do we return to camp to be Frank Gore with you. Ah! And this, ladies and gentlemen, will be our video for Home Behind 2. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Let me know what you thought about the demo in the comments down below. Let me know if the volume was too loud the whole goddamn time. Yeah, we got hurt a lot. We got resources, we got herbs, oh yeah, we got guns. We got a human being in our car. But, uh, yeah, this was Home Behind 2. A cool looking road, like, very reminiscent of Darkest Dungeon, except a lot more dialogue. At least so far, because it's trying to tell me the story, but I, I... I like stories in my own time, but it's hard when I can only... When I'm trying to show you gameplay within a, like, time frame that I usually have set for myself. But, uh, yeah, this is Home Behind 2. <laughs> There's no Norton word for honesty. And uh, it comes out this month on the 22nd, I believe. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Again, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you thought down below. I'll catch you guys again. Bye-bye. This thing is called Riding the Bull.